Hello everyone and welcome back to another anatomy video. Today we will start with a new series of uh, videos where we are going to talk about the passive stay apparatus in the horse. So the passive stay apparatus in the horse refers to special adaptation of some muscles, tendons and ligaments found in the forelimb and some of them in the hind limb. This adaptation reduces muscle tiredness and energy consumption while standing. And that's why, and this is the reason why the horse can um, rest or even sleep while standing. This apparatus could also help in reducing muscular effort while the horse is moving during exercise. The main Adaptation in this case here is the increase of fibrous collagen content and connective tissue of many muscles which work in conjunction with tendons and ligaments, especially within the distal fore and the distal hind limbs. We can actually divide this uh, apparatus into two mechanisms. The first one called the suspensory apparatus and the second one called check apparatus, which are present in all four distal limbs. The suspensory apparatus consists of uh, the interosseous muscle. The interosseous muscle in the horse is completely replaced with fibrous materials to form what's called the suspensory ligament. That's why in some books you may find them referring to the interosseous muscle as a suspensory ligament in the horse. The interosseous muscle uh, highlighted in yellow here to be able to discuss and to see it completely. Let's remove some of the muscles in the way. Now we can see this one here at the superficial digital flexor muscle. Let's remove it. After that, we can remove the deep digital flexor muscle and the supporting ligament, which we are going to talk about later. And now we will talk about the interosseous muscle. If we zoom in, now we can see how the interosseous muscle is located on the balmar surface of the metacarpal bone number three. Of course, uh, later we will say that we have another interosseous muscle of the hind limb and it's located on the plantar surface of the metatarsal bone number three. And let's talk, they have the same situation. So that's why we will talk about this one here. Uh, the interosseous muscle starts uh, from the bal balmar surface of, of, of the um, metacarpal bone number three in this region here and partially also from the uh, carpal bones there and extends distally. As you can see, uh, the level of the fetlock joint here, uh, it splits proximal to the joint and then runs distally on the dors dorsal service of the proximal phalanx to join actually the, the common digital extensor muscle. Let me just tell you that uh, part of the muscle of uh, part of the interosseous muscle here inserts to the proximal sesamoid bones. And here, if we move just to the side here, we can see how this muscle gives the two branches two supporting, if you want to name them, supporting branches or tendons to join the common digital, the tendon of the common digital extensor muscle here. If we move completely to the dorsal view here, you can see how the two supporting ligament or tendons from the interosseous muscle coming from the palmar side of the forelimb here and join the tendon of the common digital extensor muscle. So here now this this um, suspensory uh, baratos along with the associated distal sesamoid bone ligament, which we can see here, both of them, uh, you know, supports the fitlock and the pastern uh, joint and fix them and contribute, of course, to the uh, passive stay apparatus in the horse. So this was the interosseous muscle or as we said before, could be also named as the suspensory ligament in the horse.